Hi everyone. So for this question, we're told that this table shows the refund R, okay, R, make that big and clear, in dollars for different numbers of pop cans, N, so here's N. We can, uh, sorry, write the domain and range. Okay, okay. So th this question here is actually gonna open up um, room for a bit of discussion here. You might go back and talk to your teacher about this because there's very likely to be some disagreement amongst uh, even, even educators here about how to approach this problem here. So what you're getting is, is my take on this specifically. First of all, before I can answer this question, I need to identify my independent and my dependent variables, okay? Because independence and dependence relate directly to domain and range. Domain is about the independent variable. Range is about the dependent variable. And actually, I'm gonna come back to those concepts uh, uh, pretty, pretty solidly in, in the next couple of minutes here. So what depends on what? Well, I think it's, it should be pretty clear that, that the, the refund depends on the number of cans you bring in. So this is going to be my independent variable, and R is going to be my dependent variable. So when I talk about domain, I'm talking about this right here, and when I talk about range, I'm talking about this right here. Now, if there was no context given to this problem, my domain would simply be this set of numbers, my range would simply be this set of numbers. However, there is a bit of a context related here, so I can, I can, um, I gotta bring, some interpretation to this. So now we've used D colon to introduce that we're talking about domain. And domain is now going to be the set of values of N such that, now I'm using proper notation here, uh, mostly because of, of where this question is going to end up going here. Now, let's just think about this. What, what kind of values am I looking at here when I'm bringing in the number of pop cans? Well, this is a discrete variable here, okay? This is discrete because I'm going to bring in, uh, I'm gonna count the, the number of pop cans I bring in, okay? Uh, and we're not going to, to deal with this case. Don't, don't start, you know, arguing with me about uh, fractions of cans, half a can, quarter of a can. No, 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 you're going to get money ba back based on the number of cans you brought in. Okay, it's a countable set here. Now, what that means is um, my n is going to be greater than or equal to zero. Now, there's no upper limit to this. So there is a practical upper limit, okay? But just in terms of what you could bring, there's really no dis, uh, definable upper limit. But I can't have fractions here. So this is going to be as long as n is an element of the integers greater than or equal to zero so long as n is an element of the integers. Now, you might also argue that this is n is just an element of the whole numbers, okay? Uh, but the idea of a whole number is not universally accepted, so this is, this is uh, probably a more universally accepted way to write that. Greater than or equal to zero, because you could go in with no cans, and so long as, as n is an element of the integers. Now let's take a look at range. And this is where things are gonna get a little bit more complicated with this question. Um, notice that when I bring in nine cans, I get 45 cents, 13 cans, 65 cents, 16 cans, 80 cents. I think you should be able to see here fairly clearly that what we're getting here is we're getting $0.05 per can, okay? That's, that's the relationship here, that's the dependence. Each can is producing five cents. Now, in terms of the amount of money you're going to get, Really, this is discrete, okay? This is also discrete. Now, sometimes we, we mistakenly define discrete as being represented by natural numbers. And that's, that's not true, okay? Um, discrete basically deals with countable, uh, a countable set here, okay? Um, these are, there are discrete, distinct groups of values here. Uh, you're never going to get seven cents back. Okay, I can't subdivide this further. This is discrete amount here. So my range, okay, is going to be the set of R values such that, now this gets to be a little bit more complicated because of the dependence that we've got here. So what's my, what's my set of values of the range? Well, it's gonna be the set of R values such that R is equal to 0.05N as long as N is greater than or equal to zero, 
and n is an element of the integers. So you can see right now, sorry, with what I've written here, the dependence, even in the range, the dependence on the domain. Okay, so for whatever, whatever values are that I choose for n, my range is simply going to be 0 0.05 times that. And, and that's going to be true for every single value that I plug into that. That's going to produce my range here. It would be great if I could just to tell you what the range is, but um, I, I really can't, okay? Uh, because it's, it's going to be really hard to say going, I mean, essentially what I got to do here is I got to say this starts at zero and goes up by, by 0 0.05 with every step. But that is exactly what that is stating right there.